Hello everybody. Welcome back to the lecture series on the text English for Career. We are dealing with module 3 reading comprehension. So in this video we will be looking at passage 8 in your text. I hope all of you have gone through the previous two videos and I think by now you have a fairly good idea about how to go about reading comprehension. So let's begin by reading the passage. Before I start reading the passage, let me remind you all once again, our golden rule for reading comprehension is that we have to read the passage carefully before we go to the questions. So passage eight, the global anti-aging market is worth at least $250 billion, an astonishing amount and it's growing. Anti-aging treatments are supposedly used to correct premature aging. But what does this really mean? Surely aging is just aging. It is a process that occurs over time at the time that it's supposed to. The target consumer and so audience for this narrative of accelerated aging is overwhelmingly women, unsurprisingly. Men and women age roughly at similar speeds. But the language and pictures around anti-aging treatments suggest that women have far and away the most to worry about. Any online search will reveal a standard picture of a young woman scrutinizing her reflection and hastily applying cream to her face. The message is clear. It's a race against time. Many companies advise women to start using these treatment treatments in their 20s. Men worry about aging too, but advice for their skin is packaged as maintenance rather than emergency. This focus on the aging of women is by no means a modern phenomenon. We can in part blame the Victorians. The Victorians judged age by appearance more than chronology, especially as the ill-educated were not likely to know their age or the age of their relatives. They also believed or at least encouraged the belief that women were more delicate than men. They thought that a woman's body was in many ways the opposite to a man's and that women were physically and emotionally weaker too. People have always been interested in the aging process and how to stop it. But it was only in the 19th century that aging was seriously studied. The mid Victorian period saw the rise of gerontology, the study of aging. The first gerontologist, George Edward Day, made some particularly odd claims about women. He believed that women enter old age faster and continue to age ahead of men. As a man, perhaps it was tempting to see aging as something that happened faster to the other sex. Now, of course, we know this isn't true, but it is a narrative that hasn't really disappeared as the enormous market for anti-aging products aimed at women reveals. So this is the passage for you. Now let's move on to look at the important points. So let's take a quick look at the steps that we have devised for our reading comprehension exercises. Read carefully, jot down the important points, make connections and think before you answer. So we have already done the reading. Now we are trying to take a look at the important points. Okay. And while I'm giving you the important points, please try to make connections as well. So this passage is basically about the popularity of anti-aging markets. So this is a branch of cosmetics that uh, advocates the idea of premature aging. See, aging is something that is very natural. It is supposed to happen at its own pace. But here the idea is that you age faster or you age uh, before it is your turn. Okay, So you might be uh, 26, but you already look like you are 35. So women are considered to be the target consumers of this particular market. And 
this is because the there is this generally held belief that women age faster than men so you look at all the advertisements you see women trying to uh, maintain their youthful appearance by applying all these creams and ointments okay so women are advised to preserve their beauty preserve their youthful skin and the author tells you that this is by no means a modern phenomenon these ideas probably originated during the victorian era because the victorians judged a person by his or her appearance rather than his or her chronological age so for example you are actually 26 but you look like you are 40 years old then the victorian person would naturally judge you as an older person and the author points out that the victorian value still continue to mold our perceptions affect our judgments so during the victorian era we also had the rise of gerontology which is a study of the aging process and victorians had all these very strange ideas about how women are physically and emotionally more delicate than men therefore they would age faster than men so modern science has proved that men and women age in a very similar way but still we are affected by these victorian ideas and we still continue to follow these false ideals and as an evidence uh, the other points out that you know the anti aging market is becoming even more popular in the modern age and this is uh, an indicator of the idea that we are still clung, uh, clinging to the victorian ideals of uh, gerontology the victorian ideals idea that women age faster than men so now we come to the questions the first question is the word premature is used in the passage to mean option a too old b earlier than usual c too young and the last option d later so here the correct answer is b option b earlier than usual you find this word right in the beginning of the passage where the author says that anti aging treatments are supposedly used to correct premature aging so premature technically means something that happens before the uh, due time okay so here it means earlier than usual the correct option will be earlier than usual question number 2 which word in the passage means to look at carefully the four options are focus reflection scrutinizing and hastily So the correct answer is C, scrutinizing. Uh, look at the second paragraph, the last sentence of the second paragraph. Any online search will reveal a standard picture of a young woman scrutinizing her reflection and hastily applying cream to her face. So uh, scrutinizing means you know to look at it in minute detail. So the correct word, the correct option here will be C, scrutinizing. The next question the phrase odd claims means option A true statements option B opposing beliefs option C false beliefs and option D strange statements okay uh, so the correct answer is option D strange statements the author uses this particular phrase towards the end of the passage where she is talking about the first um, gerontologist george edward day having some particularly odd claims about women it just means some really strange ideas about how women age faster so odd claims means strange statements so question number 4 what is the technical word used in the passage for the study of aging you can find the answer to this in the paragraph that begins uh, with the sentence people have always been interested in the aging process look at the next sentence in that paragraph the mid victorian period so the rise of gerontology the study of aging so the answer will be gerontology question number 5 in which period was aging studied as a subject and who was the first practitioner you can find this answer uh, in the earlier paragraph this focus on the aging of women is by no means a modern phenomenon we can in part blame the victorian so uh, you can write the answer as uh, gerontology or the study of aging uh, was taken up as a serious discipline only in the 19th century or the mid victorian period and uh, the first gerontologist is george edward day 
So question number six, what is meant by the anti-aging market and what is it worth? The answer can be found right in the beginning of the uh, passage. So anti-aging market basically talks, uh, refers to the uh, global cosmetic industry that uh, makes all the anti-aging creams and ointments. Uh, it is worth at least $250 billion. Question number seven. What is the narrative of accelerated aging and who are its targets? That answer can be found in the next paragraph. So the narrative of accelerated aging just means the idea of premature aging. Okay, uh, And women are the target uh, audience. Women are advised to use all the anti-aging products so that they can remain very beautiful. So question number eight, which of the following statements is true about premature aging as discussed in the passage? So when you look at the options, please keep this in mind. You cannot just randomly select an answer. You have to look at the idea that holds true in the passage. So option A is some people age prematurely. Option B, anti-aging treatments can correct premature aging. Option C, aging is a natural process and occurs at the correct time. Option D, women age faster than men. So option A, some people age prematurely. Okay, that statement is technically true because some people do age prematurely, but it is not true in the context of the passage. The passage does not technically discuss this idea. Option B, anti-aging treatments can correct premature aging. This is what the anti-aging market tells you that use our products, you can look young, but this is not an idea that the author tells you. Okay, the author just says that this is just a false idea that we follow. So anti-aging treatments can correct premature aging. That statement is false. Aging is a natural process and occurs at the correct time. That is true because uh, right in the beginning of the passage, the author says, surely aging is just aging. It is a process that occurs over time, at the time that it is supposed to. So that statement is true because that is what the author is trying to tell you. Option D, women age faster than men. This idea is also discussed in the passage, but what the author is trying to tell you is that uh, during the Victorian era, people believed that women age faster than men. And even now, we still have the remnants of this idea clinging to us. That is why we use all these anti-aging products. So here, the correct answer is option C. Aging is a natural process and occurs at the correct time. So question number nine, what were the ideas of the Victorian gerontologist regarding appearance and aging? You can find the answer to this question in the paragraph. That begins with the sentence, this focus on the aging of women is by no means a modern phenomenon. Yeah, so you find how the Victorians thought about the process of aging in that paragraph. And you can also look at the paragraph that begins with the sentence. The first gerontologist, George Edward Day, made some particularly odd statements or claims about women. So the idea is that Victorians believe that women are very, very different from men. They are physically, they are very delicate. They are physically and emotionally weaker than men. Therefore, their bodies are drastically different from that of men. And hence, they would appear older than men of the same uh, age and that they would age prematurely and they would also age faster than men. That is the answer to this question. Question number 10, but it is a narrative that hasn't really disappeared as the enormous market for anti-aging products aimed at women reveals. What is your opinion about this statement? So this statement is taken from your passage. This is actually the last sentence of your passage. So uh, I have just stated out what my opinion is. I believe that the statement is true because even today a woman is made to feel very insecure about the way her skin looks. She's made to feel very conscious about her skin, its age, and therefore she's forced to or urged to try out all the anti-aging products. So I believe that the statement is true. You are absolutely free to have your own opinions. If your opinion differs, please write what your opinion is regarding this statement. Okay. So that's all for now. I hope 
all of you understood the passage in the next classes we will look at more passages thank you